morning, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz and here's your detailed weather forecast update for Friday the 15th of August 2025. Heaps to get through today's forecast update as well. A storm is moving into southeastern Australia this morning, crossing through South Australia and now in towards western Victoria and the northwest coast of Tasmania. This is expected to bring some strong winds and heavy rainfall and start off a weekend of snowfall and rainfall across southeastern Australia. Showers will continue for New South Wales, expected to increase again next week and showers and storms are also possible over southeast Queensland once again. All of that plus more coming up in today's with a forecast update. If you're already new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Let's get stuck straight into things this morning over and towards southeastern Australia. We do have that storm front moving through, and as you can see quite clearly on the satellite imagery, it's not exactly a storm that's packing too much of a punch, but it is definitely one that's bringing some much needed rainfall again to parts of South Australia, Victoria, also pockets of New South Wales and into the west coast of Tasmania. All these places do really need the rainfall, and it's good that it is continuing to fall. Some strong wind gusts are also accompanied by this storm system as well. You can see low rocky point here on the west coast of Tasmania, blowing at about 60 kilometres an hour out of the north as the main front moves through. Uh, Adelaide's also been blowing in the mid-30s to the 40s in the, uh, pretty much all throughout the night. The winds are beginning to drop off there, but we expect them to increase once again when this shower pull here towards the western side of the main frontal system comes through. This is the same front that gave uh, uh, southwest Western Australia a very good whack Wednesday night with some of the strongest winds seen in the Perth metro area in over three decades, uh, and it is going to be moving in towards the southeastern parts of Australia throughout the remainder of today. Let's talk about the forecast this system here. You can see making it in towards Melbourne as a few light showers and gusty winds at about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Hobart's also expecting a few light showers here and there but it should be protected by the mountains and the hills across the west coast of Tasmania. Some heavier falls are definitely expected across the west coast of Tasmania and it looks like rainfall is just going to continue to build for the next week or so across the west coast of Tasmania starting tonight. Snowfall is expected to pipe up tonight across the west coast of Tasmania. We're also expecting some light snowfall accumulations across the higher elevations in New South Wales and also into Victoria. Snow is also possible into some of the lower elevations across Tasmania through much later on tonight and into very early tomorrow morning where that snow level is then expected to drop down to about 600 metres through tomorrow morning across parts of Tasmania and down to about 900 metres across parts of Victoria and 1,000 metres across parts of New South Wales. Even though the snowfall is expected to be very light, temperatures are expected to be cold enough to bring that snow level down to a significantly low altitude. Even for this time of year, that is quite a low altitude. Showers and storms are going to continue through tomorrow morning. They will ease off a little bit across Victoria, but parts of Tasmania and also for New South Wales through tomorrow afternoon, but then they'll resurge again as a low pressure system moves through Saturday night across South Australia and then into the early hours of Sunday morning across Victoria. Rainfall will pipe up again for Melbourne through the morning hours of Sunday and we're expecting snowfall to also pipe up across parts of Victoria through Sunday and into Monday as well. This low pressure system is then going to ride very far north in towards New South Wales and some rainfall is expected in western and central New South Wales through Monday morning and into Monday night and into early Tuesday morning as well, but we're not expecting anything significant in the way of rainfall perhaps 5 to 15 millimetres across a wide swathe of western New South Wales with even lighter accumulations expected as you get further north. But it does present an interesting opportunity for rainfall uh, across the New South Wales coastline and I'll talk about this in just a few moments. But all in all, it's looking like another turbulent weekend across southeastern Australia. Plenty of showers, plenty of storms, plenty of rainfall to go around. And this will look at weekend rainfall accumulations, including today and Monday, Saturday and Sunday. We're looking at rainfall accumulations along the coast uh, through South Australia, south of Adelaide, around that 20 to 40 millimetre mark. We could be seeing slightly higher accumulations into some higher elevations around the coastal areas as well. Adelaide is looking at at least 20 millimetres of rainfall on top of what has already fallen. And rainfall accumulations will be at their wettest across the west coast of Tasmania, where we could be seeing falls around that 40 to 50 millimetre mark for some locations. We're also expecting some pretty strong wind gusts through the west coast of Tasmania, but considering we're not expecting a second cold front to move through there, winds will be at their strongest today and into early tomorrow morning, and we're not expecting significant wind gusts in excess of 100 kilometres an hour across the west coast of Tasmania, which, to be honest, when we're talking about winds up to 100 kilometres an hour for this part of Tassie, that's really not something to be concerned about, it's something that they could see at any time of the year. Back to rainfall accumulations, you can see some decent falls also expected into the interior parts of New South Wales and places such as Mildura, Griffith, Cobar and then up towards Wanaring and Lightning Ridge. Falls between 5 to 15 millimetres are possible with isolated falls up to 25 millimetres also a possibility and snowfall is also expected to be quite solid this weekend across a wide swathe of Victoria, New South Wales and the west coast of Tasmania. Disregard the snowfall accumulations that are on the forecast here across the interior parts of New South Wales. There is now a very slim chance of snowfall around the northern tablelands through late Sunday and into early Monday morning. I'll talk about this in just two seconds but down in towards the southeastern parts of the nation where there 
actual snow fields are. We're talking about some good snowfall accumulations up to around 10 centimetres across the higher elevations of New South Wales and some falls between 3 to 8 centimetres across parts of Victoria. Not as good as what we were forecasting about a week ago, but still some respectable snowfall accumulations there and snowfall between 10 to 15 centimetres expected across the west coast of Tasmania. They're just expecting a barrage of showers to be coming through. Obviously nothing for Adelaide or, or the western half of Victoria. That's just these forecast models doing their funny business. But yet yeah, later on into uh, the weekend and into early next week, there is going to be that very slim chance of snowfall accumulation. So it actually looks like Saturday night into early Sunday morning, there is going to be that slim chance of snowfall into the northern tablelands of New South Wales. Once again, I give maybe a 15% chance for snowfall to occur above 1400 metres into this part of New South Wales. It really is a very remote chance. But when we do take a look at the temperature forecast, and this is congruent between other forecast modelling as well. I looked at it yesterday. When we're talking about temperatures above 1500 metres through later Saturday, night they do get really close to freezing and when we do start to see temperatures at this altitude here get close to freezing when you throw showers into the mix snowfall is going to be most certainly a possibility but if we draw that back to 900 meters which is where the majority of the tablelands do lie you can see temperatures closer to about four or five degrees which again can harbor snow but it really looks like it is going to be a very remote chance so i want everybody to not expect snowfall into the northern tablelands again on saturday night into sunday morning it's a very remote possibility at this point in time and probably about a 10 percent chance the absolute northernmost uh, parts of New South Wales and the highest elevations of the Barrington Tops at this point in time. It really is unlikely. Oh, and also for southeast Queensland, the chance is absolutely nil as well. You've had your chance, and that was earlier on in or later on in July. Let's take a look at southeast Queensland. It's a lot calmer there this morning, that's for sure, compared to where it was yesterday afternoon. Heaps of hailstorms moved through, and it was definitely a stormy one. Uh, a very rare August outbreak like that. That was one of the strongest August outbreaks that I can remember in history across southeast Queensland. Plenty of hailstorms, plenty of strong thunderstorms. Only one of them did go severe outside of, I believe it was Gympie, with some large hailstones up to about four centimetres in size. And we did expect that. None of these thunderstorms were going to host that uh, large hailstone stuff that we do normally see uh, in those severe thunderstorms. It was just going to be more of a kind of slushy being dumped on for certain locations, but plenty of hailstones fell across southeast Queensland yesterday, plenty of lightning, and it was definitely a rare August outbreak of quite dramatic proportions. Nothing is on the ra radar across southeast Queensland over the next uh, 14 days in terms of thunderstorm outbreak stuff. Definitely uh, still some showers coming through out of the southeast, and as you can see as we push this rainfall forecast forward for the next 14 days, it is another wet period across southeast Queensland and New South Wales east coast. It's going to be interesting to see how much rainfall does fall, so let's break that down for you right now in some detail. So we're talking about more rainfall coming through from the southeast later this weekend across parts of New South Wales as this low pressure system rides high through New South Wales and into southeast Queensland or south central Queensland rather on Sunday. We're going to see some showers brought up from the southeast across parts of New South Wales and that's going to pipe up showers from Monday morning onwards for locations around Sydney down to Wollongong up to Newcastle and Tyree and some heavier falls are most certainly possible through early Monday afternoon right through Monday evening and into early Tuesday morning and then again researching again through Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning in fact, some widespread heavy rainfall is going to be most certainly possible through Monday and Tuesday. Then the forecast starts to become a little bit interesting. We've got this low pressure system gathering moisture slowly over towards uh, south central Queensland through Monday and Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, we're seeing a big bo uh, band of moisture dragged in towards southeast Queensland, which is going to present them with the risk of some heavy rainfall and potentially flooding through Wednesday and Thursday. The thing is, it's not really supported between other forecast models. You can see here from the GFS, which is another really reliable forecast model, it has those showers coming through on Monday and and Tuesday across the New South Wales central coast and they will be heavy at times so we can say that that's a guaranteed uh, happening uh, now pretty much set in stone but then once we get out towards Wednesday and Thursday those showers basically just continue business as usual for southeast Queensland and we're not talking about some wild heavy rainfall event so it's definitely something that's a possibility and especially considering the fact that we will have the low pressure system over in uh, south central Queensland and the energy in the Coral Sea to be dragged in it does make it a plausible forecast but I just don't think it's going to happen and the forecast model support behind it really isn't that strong so I, I think it is highly unlikely we'll see a rainfall event across southeast Queensland. New South Wales, though, those showers are going to continue. They will briefly hold off through Monday, uh, through uh, Thursday and Friday, and then it looks like they fire up again through Saturday and Sunday next weekend on the 23rd and the 24th of August, respectively. And we may see a low-pressure system develop into the uh, Tasman Sea. Uh, the chances of that are still pretty remote, but in towards late August, we have had a little bit of model support much later on into the forecast runs of some low-pressure system activity into the Tasman Sea. Later on into the forecast, 
period though, after about the 25th, it looks like things do dry out for the New South Wales East Coast, which will give them a little bit of time ahead of more rainfall coming in in September and October to just dry out and kind of reset after this really wet period that they're going through right now. Let's just talk about those rainfall accumulations right now. So I've chosen to include out towards Tuesday, which is Monday and Tuesday for the New South Wales coastline. We could push this forward out towards Wednesday and Thursday to include the rainfall around the Sydney and the Newcastle area. Uh, that's what I would deem as reliable on the forecast modeling here. And I can say for sure that at least 100 millimeters is coming through north of Jervis Bay up to about Sydney at some point through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I reckon we will see a brief period of heavy rainfall, which could lead to rainfall accumulations resulting in flash flooding across parts of New South Wales, the central coastline through early Tuesday morning. Rainfall, like I said, will ease off a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday, but we're still expecting heaps of showers to come through. Either way, this is not the forecast that the New South Wales East Coast was looking for when we're talking about rainfall accumulations widespread between 20 to 80 millimeters across this four day period between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday alone. That really is quite concerning. So more rainfall is expected. Sydney's record wetter start to August is gonna continue in towards mid August. And it looks like it's also gonna continue in towards late August as well. And heaps of rainfall to go around further south on the New South Wales coastline, right down towards Narooma, which is expecting 50 millimeters and right up towards Coffs Harbour, which is also expecting a pretty, uh, a pretty much guaranteed 100 millimeters as well into the four day period uh, into early next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But as you can see on the forecast modeling here, we're talking about 250 millimeters here falling offshore from the Gold Coast coastline here in the Brisbane area into Southeast Queensland. That's uh, really hard to believe at this time of the year. It's definitely, if we were talking about this occurring in November or December, I'd buy it straight away. But as you can see between other major forecast modeling here with GFS only expecting 25 millimeters, I expect showers from the Southeast to continue for Southeast Queensland and not a big whopper rainfall event that's gonna cause all sorts of flooding problems across Southeast Queensland to take its place instead. So in short, across Southeast Queensland, the chance is there for some significant rainfall much later on in towards next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but it is a very, very remote chance at this point in time. We'll know for sure on Sunday and Monday if the chance is gonna be there as this low pressure system moves through New South Wales and in towards Queensland, and if it can hold itself together in a reasonable manner, then we will definitely be revisiting this forecast and talking about rainfall across Southeast Queensland, but it is just an extremely remote chance at this point in time. It's probably not something that's worth this much airtime that it's gotten over the last couple of minutes. In terms of other interesting stuff happening later on into the forecast period, far north Queensland remaining dry over the next 14 days, but we do have some rainfall across southwest and western Australia, as you would expect at this time of the year. And again, another place that's received plenty of rainfall into the last three months, southwest and western Australia are expected to receive a lot more into the next two weeks as well, into the last two weeks of August, potentially up to 100 millimetres of the stuff around the Perth metro area and into the south coastal regions as well. And some good rainfall from a potential northwest cloud band into the goldfields and Gascoigne region as well. Let's talk about that right now. So we've got some dry weather coming through over the next couple of days. Friday looking dry, well today I should say looking dry under the influence of a high pressure system. It means the nights are going to remain cold and clear through the wheat belt. Sunday also looking dry, Sunday also looking dry with this high pressure system. A few showers potentially coming through later on Sunday. Rainfall will then take a brief hiatus on Monday, returning on Tuesday with another significant cold front coming through Tuesday night across much of southwest and western Australia. And rainfall accumulations could be heavier times through Tuesday night, up to 30 millimetres of the stuff expected around Perth and potentially potentially falls up to 50 millimetres throughout the southwest of WA into some of the hills as well. Showers coming through from Wednesday morning onwards they will persist into early Thursday morning when they will begin to clear once again and then the clear, calm, cool skies return through Friday and Saturday. It looks like a west coast trough may develop though so we might see some warmer temperatures through Friday and Saturday at the 22nd and the 23rd of August. Uh, still a little bit uncertain there on the forecast modelling. It looks like a little bit of moisture is going to linger around and then in towards late August and we've had this on the forecast modelling for the last couple of weeks. A strong end to winter is expected across southwest and western Australia, which means a large weather system is likely or a series of large weather systems is likely, and that's where that northwest cloud band does come into play. So rainfall isn't expected through the Gascoigne or the wheat, uh, or uh, the goldfields rather, or the interior in the next week or so. That looks like it's going to come through much later on into the forecast period, but definitely late August is going to be a time to watch across southwest and western Australia. Some big cold fronts are most certainly possible as that southern annular mode swings right down towards the negative phase, which is going to bring those cold fronts quite far north. Uh, and yeah, just plenty of rainfall expected to go around across southwest and western Australia. So two uh, distinct rainfall events expected into the next 14 days, that one coming through after this weekend, so uh, from Sunday night and then again Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. This one's expected to bring the bulk of the rainfall over the next 14 days. We could be seeing some widespread falls in excess of 50 millimetres outside of Perth down towards Dwelling up in Collie and some good falls also possible around Perth as well, 30 to 50 millimetres are possible through the metro area and some healthy falls between 10 to 25 millimetres also possible through parts of the wheat belt, even making it out into the gold 
Goldfield in the double digits as well, south of Kalgoorlie down to Norseman and Cambolda Kalb falls up to around 15 millimetres are possible there. And then that rainfall pipes up again into the last couple of, uh, well, the last week of August after Sunday the 24th, you can see rainfall really beginning to pipe up once again across southwest and western Australia. Falls between 30 to 50 millimetres expected once again, and then as that northwest cloud band develops, if it does develop, widespread falls between 20 to 40 millimetres expected through the Pilbara, Gascoigne, and then down into the goldfields and south interior. It'll be interesting to watch and see how these systems do materialise here. Definitely the ones in towards late August have caught my eye, and I reckon they're going to be some systems to watch, that's for sure, in terms of how strong they're could get. But apart from that, over in southern Australia, it is remaining cool, calm and collected. It's typical weather for this time of the year, even though we do have some strong winter storms coming through. Nothing severe, nothing too crazy. It's typical for this time of the year, but make sure you are aware of what is happening around you in your neck of the woods. Sticking with me this weekend, plenty of updates still to come across southeast Queensland on the rainfall coming in for New South Wales as well. And check out the Facebook page as well. I think we're two followers away from 21,000. So make sure you do follow over there if you do go and check that out. The support lately has been much appreciated. And a special shout out, of course, to the channel sponsors. Their names are on screen right now. And I could, I could, not, I could not run the show without them. So, of course, their support is, as always, much appreciated as well. But that's going to do it for me. And I'll catch you on the next storm. Have a great Friday. Goodbye.